have you ever wonder why this warning appears even when you are sure that you entered the correct distances let me know your thoughts in the comment box see the warning might be due to the incorrect length units or precision errors so let's see how we can fix and identify the issue also i am sharing one most important tip during the session so don't skip any part and understand this particular quick hack so that you will not repeat the same mistake again and you will able to identify this mistake even if you have the larger models so stay tuned and let's just check out so first let's understand what's the reason behind this segment see a member load is a type of load applied within the span of the structural member rather than at its start or end points okay so for a concentrated force or a moment or for the udl segment the specific point of application must be defined by the distance from the start of the member right and if the load is distributed such as uniform or trapezoidal load you must specify these two distances where the load starts and where it ends now see if any of this distance exceeds the length of the member a warning will trigger in the software so let's understand this through an example so i have taken one stat model just to give you an example so here we are switching to the stat model uh, let me just show you see this particular member has 2 meter length and another one has also 2 meter length right and currently you can observe that for this two members the load applied are here 1 kN right at a distance of 1 meter right similarly i have one sample point load for the other segment at 1 meter distance the member length is 2 meter right now see what is happening actually when you implement a load right and by default if you are applying a distance which is larger than this member length then this particular warning will trigger all right for example if you applied let's say a concentrated load or a udl force to this two member 6 and 9 and the distance of at a distance of let's say 2.5 meters from the start of the beam okay now see ultimately right now here in the segment the member length is only 2 meter right so this will cause a warning because the specified distance that is 2.5 meter it is longer than the member itself okay and software will automatically adjust the load location to 2.5 meters and if this isn't the desired location you'll need to modify the input sometimes this issue could result from an incorrect length unit for example if the distance was mean to be in inches but the software is interpreting it as feet specifying the correct unit could resolve the problem and additionally if the load was generated using commands like floor load or one way load or moving load a precision error might be caused the load to be placed slightly beyond the member's length and in such cases the warning might be acceptable to ignore now see in case of trapezoidal segment uh, you can receive the warning something like this trapezoidal load beyond its length and you can identify this reference point where i have specified a udl load which is outside the member length right now let's understand this in the software part again so currently as i mentioned the length is 1 meter right now let's say i am specifying this particular distance as 2.1 which is beyond its member length right and you can check out that here for this two member 6 and 9 the load is getting outside of the member length right now the same scenario can be happen with the point load 2 now see let's say the member length is 2 meter but let's say by mistake i have entered 2.1 or let's say something which is beyond 2.0002 something like this okay sometimes it happens and load is slightly outside 
from the member length now let's run the analysis it will be with the warning as I mentioned so if I click on the output see it has specified load beyond its length full length assumed right something like this for these two cases now see one important tip over here let's say currently I have this mod model so it will be easy for me to identify but what if you have the larger model larger model where you have so many members and loads right now see to identify the exact line in the stat pro input file causing the warning you can add one additional command so this is the additional tip I want to discuss so you can add perform analysis print load data and run the analysis and check the output file so the warning will appear immediately after the line with the incorrect distances okay so let's just check out so I'll go to the command file right now okay and in the command file here where I have specified the perform analysis I am additionally adding print load data now I save it and I'll run the analysis again okay so earlier whatever the segment we were getting let me just show you so here in the first case without that particular command we were getting warning something like this right and now let's check out the difference what is happening so I click on this and click on the warning portion now you can get that you are getting the in detail segment in your output stat model so you can identify your member length the governing load case particular segment or in which particular load case you have implemented this incorrect load that can be easily identified from here right now just for your understanding I'll just show you both the comparison so that you will get the difference about this right so if you want to check in which particular case it is happening with the specific load case details you can add this particular command to resolve this okay and once you correct your length in your stat model right the warning will disappear so ultimately when you identify a governing load case with respect to a particular load you just need to correct your distances with respect to your member length right once you do that it will automatically remove this warning so let's run the analysis again so summary is you can always check about the load distances with respect to member length while applying the load itself so initially when you are modeling something you need to always make sure about the length of the member and the application of the load which you are applying on a particular member to avoid such kind of errors right so that is the first lesson second lesson as I told you to identify the exact line in the stat pro input file causing this warning you can add this perform analysis print load data command and run the analysis to check the output file and the warning will appear immediately after the line with the incorrect distances right now the warning has disappeared put file now you can see that the warnings are removed so I hope you like this particular tip 
Thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more such structural engineering and stat related tips. And remember don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.